Doesn't it always seem like when you're doing something on a project car that it's always one like innocuous thing that that becomes a nightmare that holds you up for hours on end? Today on Project All Track, we're going to be working on some suspension components and test fitting big brake calipers and headlights. And maybe some other things. There you go. Intro. The car is completely rolling forward. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. There's one. All right. All right. So we're going to test for this guy. And this guy, uh, the rotor is not the correct, the correct uh, diameter, but I am going to be bolting it up just to make sure there's no clearance issues with uh, the offset of stuff. I think it's going to bolt straight up and be fine, but I want to find out ahead of time. So, why don't you just tell me what you want? Why don't you just? Whoa! The, apparently the brakes are moving. Um, I'm taking an axle out. Well, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, TT, TTS have four pistons. See like this? One, two, three, four. And they're fixed. I mean, I mean they don't move. They stay in place. When you, when you look at the single piston that you see right here, this guy, this has one piston, this big guy here, and it slides back and forth, which is why you need a carrier. So it slides in and out on there. This one, much less squeezy than the other one. That one's much more squeezy. Squeezy breezy. I need a pry bar. This is a I got one, right? Her. You need a bigger hammer, Paul. I mean, this hammer doesn't have enough strength. We might have to go borrow one. No, I'll just use a pry bar. We don't care about the axle anyways. Well, Jesus. You need a heavier hammer. I thought you said a pry bar. You were gonna get it done. I thought I could. Do you need assistance? No. Okay. Are you like jacking up on the sway bar in some way? No, the sway bar's not even attached, buddy. Oh, that's correct. <laughs> that's weird. This thing cocked kind of weird on me. Look at the axle. This isn't working. Let's see. The part think... that is jammed up against. All right, Nathan, do we think that 16s are going to clear these brake calipers? Hell no. Definitely not. <laughs> do we think 16s, these sweet... Can we go hell no for $500? I'll, I'll take not a, not a cut chance for 500 Alex. That's that's going to be a no from, from the 16 <laughs> realm. That's going to be a no from the 16. Let's see if a 17 works. Ugh. These are 17s off of Glad they're on top. This is off of my wife's Passat from many years ago when she had a Passat wagon. You Let's cross our fingers because we want some meaty tires on this thing and 17s are the only way we're going to get it. Otherwise, we're going to have weird looking... Oh. I don't think so. I don't think there's literally any chance it's rubbing directly on the brake caliper. Now maybe it does appear as though with spacers, it actually would work. Okay, so major issue here, it's rubbing right here on the face. It does appear to clear the rest of the wheel around the side from what I can see. So I think if we put a spacer on this thing, uh, it'll work out. So I'm gonna grab a 10 mil spacer that we have. It's so nice when the axles like just come out. It is. Well, we, we live in the south where generally that happens. In the south, where you don't have rust. And you go to the north, everything's rusted. That's why this car is, even though it only has whatever, 35,000 miles or whatever it has on it, that the axle is being a pain in the ass. See all this rust all over this rotor? It's because it's a Colorado car. Wheel stud insulation tool found at shopdap.com. Buy it. Oh, this axle is a pain in my ass. Has some struggling on? A bit. Well, I guess I have, it's foreshadowing to what I have to look forward to on my, my own side. It actually looks pretty good. Oh, <laughs> I think 10 millimeters. It's hot as 
in here now. It is, it is getting a little warm. Can we open the door? <laughs> so 17s it is. 17s it is. You see these sweet five spoke 17 inch wheels? You see that? I knew I kept these wheels for a decade for a reason. <laughs> For your ex-wife's car? For your wife's ex-car? Your ex-wife's ex-car? I don't have an ex-wife yet. That you know. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, I'm definitely the spirit of it. And remember, my wife's Hispanic. She is not afraid to hurt me. <laughs> huh? Don't that wiggle me. Yeah, I don't care. Stop wiggling. Oh, stop wiggling? Sorry. I thought you might need some assistance with a wiggle. You thought wrong. <laughs> I feel like I've accomplished something. Ow. <laughs> I gotta take this stupid thing. This thing has gotta be like almost out. It's a good thing we don't want this axle. Because I'm sure you've mushroomed the f out of it. Alright. Ow. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. I'm a customer support specialist. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out the f***ing axle. <laughs> It's out now. Well, he's trying, attempting to take out the axle, he should say. <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't care about these floors. <laughs> Look at it. Good thing we got those, those cushy gloves on. Hitting myself in the hand with the hammer. Right now, I'm going to take this wheel back off and start disassembling our suspension for our lift kit. What are you using? What? Why have you not cut that yet? So I don't want to cut it too short. What are you doing? I'm tying up the brake caliper. Watch out. I know, you're gonna blind somebody. I got it. Watch out, we both have glasses. We're fine. All right. Yeah, I, Nathan, I don't. Nathan, I don't want to be worried. He's, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Can you cut that, please? It's fine. I don't want to waste it. Dude, <laughs> we, look, we, we'll put it in here. Now it's safe. We'll have two pieces of mechanics wire. It's safe. They'll both be useful. <laughs> Both of them. Literally both of them. It's possible I bang this caliper up a little bit in this test process. They are accessible without removal. I win! I mean, we weren't racing, I was testing a caliper. We are going to DAP repair because we were woefully unprepared. <laughs> in a smaller box, I was expecting. <laughs> Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Why is this? This is graduating to danger zone. It's missing pieces. That is? Yeah. Great. It's missing one of the little safety pins. Oh, good. But it's okay. We're living on the edge. Specifically, said don't use an impact. <laughs> Ooh. Gingerly. Just a tip. Just for a minute. Just for a second. Just to see how it goes. <laughs> Does appear to be slightly not straight. Somebody broke our spring compressor. Yeah. I'm betting somebody used an impact on it. I regret everything in my life that's led me to this decision that I'm doing right now. <laughs> I regret nothing. It's really tight. I'm not fond of this. You need a system. No, I just don't want to do this. This is. Why are we lifting this car? That looks safe. It is. And so we are lifting our car. So these are the forged spacers. These are uh, the lift mounts. Now, you, the, again, this car you do a body lift on the front, which gives you full suspension travel still with and but still lifting the car. So this goes on top of your uh, spring assembly here and above the strut mount. So I'm going to see. What I have is loosened up. I've removed the axle on this side to allow us to move out. And I think I may be able to do this without uh, taking apart anything else other than the inner axle bolts and the strut top on this particular vehicle. Um, I took off a little more than I realized that I would probably be able to do it in another way. So uh, we're gonna try to swing this thing up on top of this assembly with it in the car. Now keep in mind, orientation matters on these because they're not perfectly correct. So I believe this forge is intended to go towards the front of the vehicle, uh, which, but my main concern is just getting this thing in here to see if we can get it to clear. Oh yeah. So this forge, what it looks like, it does clear in here. So you can get this thing up and over. You may need to pull down a little bit, but you have no clearance issues there. So 
uh, I believe this forge goes towards where there's a rubber kind of a nub or whatever on on this strut mount assembly. We'll post a picture of what it looks like and where we're pointing to on our strut mount in the car. So I think this forge faces towards the inside of the car in this particular circumstance. So I'm just gonna get this thing back up there and then we should be able to actually probably just get a floor jack underneath here, jack it up and then uh, have no problem getting this thing bolted in place. What's going on over here? Um, well, uh, because <laughs> because we have to get lighting so we can see, I have to carry this jack over top of videos instead of just rolling it on the floor like a normal human being would do. It does not feel like a good angle. It's not a good angle. That's why it doesn't feel like a good angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit more? And we're home. Now you need the bolt. No, I just need to take this out. I love these aluminum spindles, how it takes a piece of it with it every time. Oh, I need to put that axle in. Is that how you open a box? That's the proper way to open a box if you don't want to get lacerated by staples. I don't want to do this part. Yeah, I'll take that side, Paul. I don't know what you're doing, but I'll take it. Hold on. I can, I can, I can do that in a minute. I hate axles so much. I'm, I'm doing an axle too. Oh, extension. Uh, I just realized I'm not sure if there's any bulbs inside of these. <laughs> you don't need bulbs. Those are the OG ones. Don't work with the stock bulb. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever touch headlight bulbs when you're installing them because you're the grease on your hands will ruin the bulb. Everybody, oh, my everybody. fingers. You all right? Oh, they're pinched right now. Hey, this is kind of neat. The new <laughs> headlight covers have a hole in the back of them. Ow. <laughs> what? The new headlight covers have holes in the back for if you're running Xenon, so you have to drill holes like I, I had to in that video that I made. It didn't sound like the concern kind of pain. It was just mild discomfort. Yeah. I'm struggling. Ah! I mean, Must be nice. To do something that's easy. Nice to wake up with a beautiful view. <laughs> Tomorrow, I don't remember that. Ah! Broke my thumb. Okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go help you. Who's gonna take me to the hospital? In just one moment, I'm gonna come help you because there is a struggle with Soros Rex over here. Ah, I broke my finger again. All right, well, what's, your, what's your issue? Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, is the issue the axle won't spline? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go lay down. You tired? I give up. Is that comfortable? No. Looks pretty comfortable. I'm glad this thing is as full as it is. I was worried I was gonna flop in here and just sink in and not be able to get out. I didn't work as a mechanic. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you're sick. That's the most fair excuse. Also, <laughs> Also, I'm sick. And I went rock climbing yesterday. You went rock climbing while you were sick? Yeah. Well, I wasn't this sick yesterday. <laughs> oh, your butt's in my face. <laughs> <laughs> butt stuff. <laughs> it's this f***ing axle that's the problem. What the f***, man? Now this thing is even seem to be want to come out. There is something in here well, that's up. like a... The pick, this, this pick is a much better choice than the file. It's possible that this I don't think we say it enough. is damaged. You going? A few moments later. 20 minutes later. This should not be this difficult of a job. No, it shouldn't. These toes. <laughs> One hour later. Two hours later. I think you had a little bit of movement there. It's moving. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Let me guess. No. Yep. It's in. Is it? Yep. All right. Close up the impact. Torque to spec. <laughs> <laughs> we <Win. laughs> Uh, he, he almost landed on an extension as if it was a banana peel or a turtle shell. A turtle shell. <laughs> this is a piece of race car engineering. So these are our new adjustable spherical sway bar end links. 
from 034. Ow, ow. Oh, I broke my pinky. <laughs> sway bar. To stop sway. It's true. Dude, I <laughs> am struggling so hard. To that rotor was spinning on the other side. I need a short break for water and patience. Water and patience are required. Your knee? Yeah. I know, my knees, my <laughs> knees are kind of hurting too. <laughs> They're too old. No. That my slim, I don't even think with it. What do you... <laughs> but then it'll bottom out because the bolt goes through yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. work. It's stuck now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> slide it up, slide it up. <laughs> uh, that was sweet. These things know? are very tight tolerance and dirt can get in here and wear out the bearing or the joint and cause noise and slop. So you put a little grease in there, you put the little boot on it and it helps keep some of that out and make them last longer. Sway bar links. The spherical stuff is stuff you would generally use on track stuff. It is less forgiving, which is why you wouldn't want to use it on a street, and can be harsher. But obviously, we don't really care about that on this car. So, uh, spherical stuff also, apparently, spherical stuff makes Max struggle. What? It's yeah. extending on both the top and the bottom and making this longer, pushing the sway bar down, uh -huh. which will give me clearance on the other side too. Hopefully, not hit the transmission. For now, the damage to this car certainly is not that bad relative to what it could be, for sure. So, I feel I consider myself. Is there a rubber hammer over there? Yes. Okay. Can you call it? Oh, it's on your, by your foot. Kick it over. Close it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Open it real fast. It's fine. Yeah. We can save this for a spare if we break one or bend one. Necessarily. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, man. Okay, let's take a look here. Where's my 13? What do we got going on here? Ooh. Buddy. Ooh. I would say. I'd call it a success. You got the Carolina squat to undo the tilt. Power swimming on the side. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't sound good. Oh, thank you. I forgot it was lifted. I was like, I could get that out before it. It's got some positive camber. Yeah, well, that's. I suspect that that could be a possibility. See if you can't get this thing stuck somewhere. There you go. Okay, so today, uh, Max and I uh, got, <laughs> got to get tired. Um, we did headlights. Axles? Axle. Well, axle. replace the one axle. He did the Paul axle. Paul struggled a lot with this one. Yeah. I put it in. We lifted it. Half of it. The front. Not we the got, back. We got a little squat action going on right now. Got headlights in. They yeah, look our, good. Our headlights in. Tweaked all this stuff. So we bent our, the door back some more. We, we bent the door back some more. We got the fender kind of tweaked in to where it's. We still have a, a hood gap. We got to realign, and then uh, the bodywork is predominantly done. We also did the 034 uh, sway bar in links. And I believe that's it for this episode. And make sure you check out next episode where we are going to have uh, some, Surprise. Some, some interesting parts that I think people will get excited about. So uh, make sure you check out the next episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. Dislike if you don't like it.